Welcome back guys to Pinar Cross over Mark and Mark here. Let's go straight up to the Raptors. Tell us about that game. Like, I mean, we just finished watching it. We're all hyped right now. What are your thoughts, analysis, and just reflection about that game after watching it? I just, yeah. oh, I just want to say good job to Fred Van Fleet for doing Ooh. a phenomenal job. <laughs> so like, finally he showed up, so yeah. I'm really happy about that. Yeah. What else you guys got? Like, say it all out. This is, I'm just really like, you know, hyped about this game. <laughs> um, I, I think they just made winning plays. Like, yeah. uh, I think they really just wanted it more, right? Mm -hmm. um, there was there was like a there was like one play where like Kawhi shot a three ab above the uh, ab above the break and he obviously missed it but like he raced down and like got his own rebound mm -hmm. and like he just like I I feel like the entire team wanted specifically Kawhi and everybody just followed him mm -hmm. yeah because they had no business winning this game no like they yeah. were down they were down yeah. like third quarter when I was watching the game they were down double digits yeah and the momentum was in 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 Bucks favor and yeah. Giannis was playing well too mm -hmm. like how did where did you guys feel like they started to turn it around? Like, what did they start doing that you felt like, wow, I've never seen them do this in a road game where they're down, on a game five where they're trying, to, they're supposed, they're meant to lose because of the fact yeah. that they're away, right? Um, like for me, it's it's really their defense. Like the the way that they rotate mm -hmm. is incredible, mm -hmm. um, and they just have a lot of high high IQ guys that mm -hmm. really just like look out for each other, and they're really selfless in the way they play defensively. Yeah. Um, I've actually never seen anything like that, right? So, yeah. 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 It's just the maturity for Bucks is different too because they, they don't know what to do like the last five minutes sometimes. Like you see Giannis just running around. But like, you know, we, we were talking about it, how like Nick Nurse is like stepping up like the whole, like the round one, round two, round three, is that Nick Nurse stopped Vucevic round two and Bede was kind of like not an all-star. And, and now they, they double team Giannis every time they go to the sideline. Yeah, every time he goes to the sideline, so they double team him and trap him there. So it's like the defense are different since game three. Mm -hmm. they, the adjustment is crazy. And now it's like, that's the reason why they're winning. It's because of their defense. Mm -hmm. uh, that's and, what I noticed. Yeah, I, I think what we're undervaluing is the fact that, think about it, we have a defensive anchor and a defensive wing kind of yeah. you know yeah. guarding and, and guiding everybody else from not just from mm -hmm. the front court from the back court so yeah. Gasol's right there kind of protecting the rim and being that help defense and Kawhi's being that lockdown defender along with with Kyle Lowry and yeah. then that's something that we we're not appreciating enough I think for the fact mm -hmm. because if you see a couple of plays that we saw uh, Giannis trying to get into the rim and getting doubled all of a sudden you see Gasol right there with a wall and, yeah. and, and yeah. they just and even Brock Lopez can't even score back in the rim during that closeout game and I feel like that's something that we're gonna need yeah. if we are to you know get past Milwaukee and get to the finals to have that defensive anchor that can guide us from the backcourt and the front court. Yeah, I mean right? everybody in the starting five can play defense, right? Like yeah. Pascal is just super switchy. Yeah. Danny Green, your light skin crush, like he's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's like he's on an all all defensive yeah. team as well, right? Like yeah. past members, so like yeah. everybody can play. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. biggest question now is that since Danny Green hasn't been at all its best right now during the season, uh, the series, do we think we should not start him or instead we should just put in Norman Powell instead? Like, what do you guys mm -hmm. think? I personally think that we should just not have him start mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. these, like, even for the next game. Like, that's just the way I see it yeah. and the way I've been analyzing it, but I don't know about you guys, so yeah. what do you guys think? Yeah, I'm just, you know, what I noticed, like, last series against the Sixers, mm -hmm. Ibaka, if Ibaka scored more than 10 points, Mm -hmm. You guys win the game, mm -hmm. but this time everyone's stepping up. Powell, Marcus, Sol is making his threes. I love how yeah, you the say bench you guys. It's still hard for me. That shot, you know. <laughs> you live like, here you now. Like, <laughs> oh wait, but yeah, but it's, it's kind of hard to see, you know, Kawhi making that shot, and then now <laughs> watching the Raptors and the Bucks, and I'm like, oh, one game away, so one game away. Supposed to be there, but yeah, you know. Yeah. Can you guys believe it though? Like we're yeah. one game away from a yeah. finals. Like, did you guys Crazy. ever think it was gonna like get this? Like for the first year of yeah. having Kawhi, mm -hmm. like I, I still, I'm still like I thought it's yeah. a dream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I I didn't think at the beginning of the season, but as you watch this team and you realize how special they are, yeah, and you realize how special Kawhi is. Yeah. I mean, like, for once you have Kawhi and Tyler, yeah. right, so yeah. and you like that's really special. start believing. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you that's start all doing, defensive like, team right there from all the teams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And like to, to back into to your question, I think it all depends on how 
how consistent Fred Van Fleet and Ibaka could be off yeah. the bench. Mm -hmm. Because That's if why. Van Fleet can play not like the way he did in this game, but at mm -hmm. least like maybe 80, 70 percent of how he played, yeah. we can switch Powell to the you know to this starting lineup That's and have Van Fleet and, yeah. and Ibaka. But it really comes down to how consistent can you get production off of guys like Van Fleet, yeah. Ibaka. The so then yeah. like it takes off a pressure for Danny Green to kind of come off the bench yeah. and just be that you know um, three and D mm -hmm. kind of player. It all depends on how consistent they can be because this is the first time we've seen Fred Van Fleet come to life this whole like since the beginning yeah. of the, uh, the, the playoffs. playoffs yeah. Yeah. Right? We've been waiting mm -hmm. for him because he was... Call too, right? He yeah. suddenly showed up for the past like what three games? Uh, what mm -hmm. three games? Two three games. Games. Yeah, three games like, now, yeah. Just this whole series yeah. Powell just kind of woken up like we yeah. were just like hey playoff power is back like this was like two years yeah. ago when we needed he always plays know. well against milwaukee <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a good one. laughs> yeah. it was something about milwaukee that gets me yeah like so for for the game six to close this out like what do you think they need to do when coming back into what's the strategy that they're gonna mm -hmm. what do they need to win this to close this out to finally get us to the finals yeah i mean um i don't think they need to change anything right like they're they won three straight for a reason mm -hmm. um and they won the first game on the road for a reason, right? Like they're doing what they're doing right, which is playing defense, um, running the offense offense, like running the offense correctly, and then kind of just giving it to Kawhi, to Kawhi and like letting him do his thing. Like Kawhi's pace is just incredible. Mm -hmm. Like if you see the way that he plays, he's just slower. Like he just goes at it very slowly and very methodically, mm -hmm. but then he'll also just like hit you with like a quick oh, dribble. And like you're yeah. just like, what is going on? Yeah. yeah. Like his pace is just insane. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah, the yeah, way that he simple. slows down the game is insane too. Yeah, just the yeah. Way, yeah like the way that he sets the tempo mm -hmm. is phenomenal too. Like this, just his game defensively has been amazing today, yeah. right? So. So do you think for Game Six they should just go all out, have him guard Giannis for the whole mm -hmm. game, or like give him different looks, like because he's been the most in terms of the most effective player to ever guard Kawhi. I mean, Giannis the whole series yeah. has been him. With his injury, like, do you think we should worry about that or just give him hate? Full on, like, be, on, be honest the whole game and every time he comes on, you come on. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? Uh, well, with Kawhi, <clears throat> Kawhi is doing, like, really good against um, Giannis. Giannis is, like, what, under 25% against Giannis? I mean, against Kawhi. So I think, yeah, I think they, they every time Giannis comes in, Kawhi comes in. Which is full pressure, keeps, basically. Yeah, <laughs> just, the thing is, like, even when Kawhi is not there and Giannis is there, they switch it up like they would like help defense double team him and trap him in the sideline or something like that and then you see Marcus all jumping with him Marcus all is a pretty big guy so <laughs> so if you jump next to and Giannis is you know every time he's under the paint he will just dunk it but this yeah. time you don't see you still see it but you don't see as much awesome. as the like the, the when they play against the hmm. Celtics and the Detroit but yeah so what do you think I actually think Giannis is He's becoming tentative. Mm -hmm. I think he doesn't want to go to the free throw line. Yeah. So I was actually at, I was actually get, at game four when he ha, when he had that air ball, yeah. oh. and I've never seen a crowd hysterically laugh yeah. at somebody like that. So just imagine yeah. like ninety thousand people. <laughs> that just gets at you. you. Yeah, mentally. Like yeah. you got to remember, like he's he's only twenty four, right? And yeah. like if you're that young and you're you're not like you it don't have to, that. It gets to your psyche. Yeah, you don't have yeah. like that much experience yet. Like it is gonna get to you as a human being. Mm -hmm. sure. And he's he's a lot more tentative now. Like he doesn't go as hard as he does, right? Mm -hmm. um, and what did he shoot from free throw line today? Was, I, I remember I he's, I know he's right now he's at like 60, 60, uh, yeah. 65. Yeah, yeah. yeah so he's at 66 percent. Yeah, yeah. That's not as strong like, as he normally is. Yeah. Like, he's like a seventy percent. You know what's yeah. funny? Me and Ingrid was talking about it before the show mm -hmm. is that if Bucks lose this year, Giannis is gonna go crazy next year. Like he's mm -hmm. gonna work so hard on the yeah. shooting. Yeah, it's like five shooting. times. He's just gonna be yeah. more. But that's how he did. That's what he did the year before. Yeah, he just mm -hmm. constantly so improved. Now it's gonna yeah. be crazy if he if he lose against the Raptors. So like that's so like that's the best thing. Chip, like, yeah. 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 if he does yeah. lose, that's yeah. his chip on his shoulder, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he swept. Like he managed to easily finish it off like within the first series, second series, and everything too. Now we're giving them that challenge, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is like now it's suddenly getting to him. It's just like yeah. now what do we do, right? So I feel like great. Yeah. Yeah. So to answer your question, I think they should go all out because they should close it in Toronto. You'd yeah. never want to close on the road. That's super no. hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, and our fans are great and mm -hmm. we'll energize them to play really well. Awesome. I agree. Well, that's all we have, guys, for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before we end the show, any last words you want to say? Adam, we can start first. Your camera's right there. Um, yeah, so if you do want to join Kwan and Dine, go to kwanandine.com. 
and check it out. Uh, where can they find the Instagram? Where can they find you, Kawana? Then where can they find everything about? Yeah, you? so uh, you can you can find uh, you can find the initiative ran by Raptors Republic. Um, mm -hmm. The Instagram is Kawine and Dine. And yeah, just wanted to thank everybody for joining the initiative. Really appreciate all the support. You awesome. Think? Any yeah. last word, Ingrid, before we end the show? Be sure to follow us on Pinoy Bounce. Uh, we'll be working on that right now with our name, and be sure to check us out on YouTube. James, any last words? You uh, some... Just check out our website, uh, pinoycrossover.ca. I wrote about the Mega City basketball, so just check it out. Awesome. awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Other than that, stay balling.